Hi, I'm Jan Kenny, the storyteller, and I've got a story for you. It's presented by the Carrolltown Public Library, Southern Allegheny's Museum of Art, and today is about a boy named Wiley. Wiley and his mama live way down in the Tom Bigby Swamp. Now that Tom Bigby Swamp has a number of very fearsome critters. Fearsome critters are critters you need to be scared of. Like big old black hairy spiders that come down and go back up. And slithery, slathery old sneaky snakes that stand up on their tails and go hiss. And alligators that open their mouths wide, wide, wide and snap them shut. But the fearsomest critter of all is one called the hairy man. He's about so tall and so wide. He's got mean, red, squinky eyes, long, sharp, white, crookedy teeth, little, short, bristly tail, and two big old cow feet. Now, I know you boys and girls out there are smart enough to know that cows don't have two feet. They've got four. This hairy man has two feet, two big old cow feet. Now, one day, Wiley's daddy went fishing, and he didn't come back. So Wiley and his mama went to look for him. But all they could find were the tracks of two big old cow feet. So they knew Wiley's daddy had been taken by that hairy man. That hairy man always carried a sack with him, and he'd hide behind his tree, and he'd hide behind that tree. And when he saw somebody coming, whoosh, over the head would go the sack, and that would be the end of whoever was in that sack. So Wiley and his mama got along okay without Papa. It was hard, but they managed. Every now and then, Wiley would go down into the Tom Bigby. He'd do some hunting and fishing and put some food on the table. But Wiley's mama would always say, Wiley boy, you go down in that swamp. You be careful, because the hairy man done got your daddy, and he just might get you. And Wiley would say, oh, mama, don't you worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, I always take my hound dogs with me. And you know that hairy man is scared to death of hound dogs. Nevertheless, Wiley, you be careful. So one day, Wiley decided he was going to go down in the Tom Big B and cut a big old stand of cane to make some fishing bowls. Took his axe and he whistled up his dogs, and down towards the swamp they went. Now the path that went to the swamp, one branch went this way, and one branch went that way. And growing right in the middle between those two paths was a big old sticker bush. Had thorns about that big. And Wiley looked at that sticker bush, and it was kind of weird looking. It was kind of shaking back and forth. Wasn't a bit of wind, but that sticker bush was shaking. Crazy noises were coming from that sticker bush, like, <laughs> and Wiley's dogs, mm, they were acting really strange, too. They were barking and running at that bush, and then they'd back up and bark and run at that bush. One got a little braver than the other. He went a little closer to that bush, and all of a sudden that bush, oh, just exploded. There were twigs and leaves and thorns everywhere. And from the center of that bush ran a big, old, hairy, scary thing. Wiley figured it was the hairy man, but he couldn't tell for sure because his dogs were chasing it down in the swamp. And they didn't come back. Well, Wiley should have gone home right then and there, I thought. But Wiley decided he had his axe and that would probably protect him. And he started to sing, just to kind of bolster up his courage. Who's afraid of the hairy man, the hairy man, the hairy man? I'm not afraid of the hairy man. Ha, 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 not me. Sing it with me. Who's afraid of the hairy man, the hairy man, the hairy man? 
I'm not afraid of the hairy man. Ha ha ha, not me. Well, Wiley was going down in the swamp and he got down to where the cane was growing nice and tall. And he cut a piece of cane and he could feel kind of like something was watching him. And that's when he heard, Hello there, Wiley. <laughs> Wiley's eyes got about that big because standing behind him was the hairy man. Two mean red squinky eyes, long, sharp, white, crookedy teeth, little, short, bristly tail, and two big old cow feet. Hairy man said, Wiley, come on, let's talk about my sack. Wiley said, Hairy man, hairy man, um, um, forget about your sack. I want to ask you a question. What do you want to know, Wiley? Well, Harry Man, um, oh, come on, Wiley, get in my sack. Harry Man, I'm not getting in your sack. I want to ask you a question. Um, my mama says you can make yourself big. Can you do that? Yeah, Wiley, no problem. Can you make yourself big like a like a like a big old giraffe? Yeah, Wiley, no problem. That hairy man snapped his fingers and all of a sudden his head started to grow up and his legs went down. First thing you know, there in front of Wiley was the biggest, ugliest old hairy man giraffe Wiley ever saw. Wiley knew it was a hairy man giraffe because it had two mean red squinky eyes, long, sharp, white, crookedy teeth, little short bristly tail, and two big old cow feet. Wiley said, whoo, hairy man, you're pretty good. Could you turn yourself into something long, like a big old, long old snake? Well, that hairy man giraffe's head started to come down, legs started to go up, body started to lengthen up. First thing you know, there in front of, in front of Wiley was the biggest, old, ugliest, hairy man snake Wiley ever saw. Wiley knew it was a hairy man snake because it had two mean, red, squinky eyes, long, sharp, white, crookedy teeth, little short, bristly tail, and two big old cow feet, Wiley said. Whew, hairy man, you are good. But you know, Turning yourself into something big isn't all that big a deal. Because you know, I'm going to get big someday. How about little? Could you turn yourself into something little like a, mm, a little old mouse? Well, that big old snake started scrunch together, scrunch together, scrunch together. Ugly gray fur started popping out all over. And the first thing you know, there in front of Wiley was the ugliest little old hairy man mouse Wiley ever saw. Wiley knew it was a hairy man mouse because it had two mean red squinky eyes, long, sharp, white, crookedy teeth, little short, bristly tail. Wiley picked it up by the tail, socked it in a sack, tied that sack tight, twirled it around his head, and threw it in the Tom Big Beer River. He said, Goodbye, hairy man. That's the end of you. Yeah. But if you read the book, Wiley and the Hairy Man, you might find out that that's not quite the end of that story. And if you're real curious to know what the hairy man looks like, well, don't be scared, because here he is. And you probably don't think he's very scared, scary. I don't think he is either. But I wouldn't want to meet him in a Tom Bigby swamp. Another book you might like that's kind of like Wiley and the Hairy Man is Liza Lou. Now, Liza Lou doesn't live in the Tom Bigby Swamp. She lives in the Yeller Belly Swamp. And she meets a critter called the Swamp Pond. Well, boys and girls, that's about it for today. Thanks for listening. Until the next time, keep a story in your heart and a story, a story, pass it on. 
A story, a story, pass it on. A story, a story, you have heard some stories. Now take those stories and pass them on. Please do, because that's what storytelling is all 